Welcome, PBA LBC League Bowlers. Once again, I am Neil Stremmel, your Director of Rules and Equipment for the PBA. And today I'm joined by PBA legend, PBA superstar, Jason Belmonte. G'day guys, how are you, Neil? How are you? Good, Jace, good to have you here. All right, so you had a great year. We're here at the PBA Tour Finals. You qualified, you won this event last year, so you had another great year this year. So what got you here? What, what was the ball that was your main choice this year? That's a good question, Neil. Um, you know, because of the range of different patterns that we play on week to week on tour, uh, I found it really difficult to migrate to one singular ball. Of course. Uh, and so it was pretty much everything that we have in our line at some point I used. And that's really one of the, I think the benefits of being sponsored by Storm is that we have such a deep line where if there is a certain condition or a certain game during a tournament where you're like, you need a bailout idea or something like that, we have something in our line to really fit a lot of the different shapes that we're trying to create with our bowling balls. And so, you know, if I had to like pick one, I probably would have used either the phase two uh, or a global reality check the most. And then there were these kind of like moments where I would use one of those bowling balls, but then I would have another one drilled a little bit differently or shined up a little more to kind of translate from game to game that if I really liked the way that those balls were rolling. But I mean, the phase two, it's such a staple in our bag. It's, it's probably one of the greatest balls ever made. So it's hard to ever not have that on the rack. Makes sense. And, and, and you obviously made some good decisions and good choices with that because you, you had a great season. For the league bowlers out there, they're going to start the fall league later this fall, you know, September timeframe. What do you see coming around the corner that would be good for them to check out? Yeah, again, another really good question. I, if you're watching this and you're not sure what ball should be in your bag next, um, the best thing you can do is talk to your local pro shop operator. And the reason why is because of this. One, I don't know how you throw the ball. So I could tell you that the new Summit is great or a new DNA is great, but I don't know, maybe it won't roll good for you because of the way that you throw the ball. So your pro shop operator is gonna know how you bowl, but more importantly, they're gonna know the house that you play in. They're gonna know the lane conditions, they're gonna know the lane surfaces, so drilling becomes huge, surface prep becomes huge, and also the way, or the ball itself and how it's made, what, what material it's made out of, if it's designed to go longer or hook earlier, and so it really is. Uh, a complex question to give a simple answer because I just don't know enough details. So ask your pro shop operator and I promise you they're going to give you or at least point you into the best direction possible. That's very astute. Hey, as Jason says, check out your local pro shop. Find yourself uh, the ball that's going to be your new ball for the fall. And uh, I hope all the league bowlers out there could understand and take in what Jason's talking about because... Because of my accent? Is it because of my <laughs> accent? I feel like I slow my speech down a lot when I'm over here to help out. So if you didn't understand me, maybe we can put some subtitles. We, we appreciate that, mate. And uh, so I hope, I hope you can understand what Jason's talking about as far as figuring out what ball is good for you because that's what's really important for this fall. And. Uh, I hope that uh, everybody out there continues to support our sport. So thank you very much.